this edition we will be reviewing a fantasy adventure film, Come Away. Every child has a fairy born just for them. Tinker's Bell was born for you. It's just a bell. She's in a hurry to grow up. He dreams of exploring new lands. Who are these dirty vagabonds? And what have they done with my children? This is the untold story of a brother and sister, two kindred adventurers. Wait for me! Our Alice and our Peter. I am Pan, god of the woodlands, and these are my woods. Oh, oh, oh! Told you to pay your debt. We've seen the boss. How is he? He's still the boss, isn't he? The Lost Boys are at your service. fingernails and black with dirt. We will make a lady of you yet. The trouble father's in. I want to help. Games and games, and what are your names? We can all use a little extra courage now and then. It's not time to grow up, Alice. Never is. Peter, you'll see. To our young Cinemagic reviewers, then. Welcome to the Cinemagic Preview Show. I'm Ari, and today we're reviewing a film called Come Away, directed by Brenda Chapman. Hi, my name is Grace Stanley, and I will be reviewing Come Away. Hi, I'm Achi, and today I'm reviewing the 2020 film Come Away with Cinemagic. Hi, I'm Molly McCann, and this is my Cinemagic magic review. Come Away is a lovely story with lots of twists and turns. Georgia Nash plays the role of Peter Pan and Kira Chansa plays the role of Alice in Wonderland. The film is a play on the well-known stories of Peter Pan and Alice in Wonderland. The film follows the story of the siblings Alice and Peter. It is a, I don't want to give away too many spoilers, but it's a very interesting plot with lots of twists and turns. The plot is a family tragedy happens and the kids make up their own adventures in their imagination to take their mind off it. Addison turns into Addison Wonderland and Peter turns into Peter Pan. Come Away is a movie with Peter Pan and Alice in Wonderland in a whole new story. There is an eight-year-old little girl who's actually Alice in Wonderland, and her brother is Peter Pan. They're in a movie together. How cool is that? And it's a whole new story. This movie is full of twists, love, friendship, and magic. And if you like the remakes of Alice in Wonderland and Finding Neverland, you are going to love this movie. My favourite character, I think, would have to be Peter. His imagination was really good, and I really liked his um, adventures from his imagination. I really liked the actors in Come Away. I really liked Kira and Jordan, who played Peter Pan in Alice in Wonderland. They are really believable kids as well, and I think they overall did have a lot of fun on set. I also really liked Angelina Jolie, who played their mother in it. You might also know this actor from Maleficent. But overall, my favourite character is... Clark Peters, who played the Mad Hatter. He was really kooky. There are a lot of well-known actors and actresses in this film, and the kids in it are really good too. Overall, I thought the acting was very good, especially all the children. It's also a movie about friendship and magic, and it really helps with the costumes and the music and the effects. It really just makes a wonderful fantasy. There is a good story plot, but it was confusing at times. I think you would at least need to be my age, nine, to understand the movie. 
there's one thing that kind of let down the movie. I love the whole storyline and everything. It's just, it was very slow at the beginning. And in the middle, it just got a bit confusing. There was a lot of stuff happening and some bits they talked about, they never really came back to. And just a lot of it was confusing. And like some of it you didn't know was imagination or not. But at the end, it was fast, it was pacey, and it really just tied it all together. There are some very sad moments, but I think this film would be suitable for most kids and I think adults would like it too, so it's a good choice for the whole family. I love this movie, don't get me wrong, it's an awesome idea to have two great characters and a whole new story, but just with the pace of it and the slowness and like everything that's so confusing in it, I have no other choice but to give this movie a 3 out of 5. It's a fantasy film and it tells us to never stop dreaming and I think that's something that we should all remember sometime. Don't miss it. If you enjoy remakes like the newer Alice in Wonderland and Finding Neverland, then this is definitely a movie you do not want to miss. We have Peter Pan, Tinkerbell, Alice in Wonderland, Captain Hook and many more packed into this movie. The film is friendly, family friendly and I give it a 4 out of 5. Bye! I would rate this movie a 4 out of 5. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.